transit of Venus from Tosrophia and left this monument behind. The telescopes of those observers were mounted on these blocks. Well, in um, former years, and as in 1882 in this case, uh, the distance between the Earth and the Sun, the, the so-called astronomical unit, was, um, it was fairly well known, but uh, transits of Venus was a very direct method to determine this, this distance. And um, they sent out expeditions uh, to the northern of, from the northern hemisphere, where they also did observations, and then they did supplementary observations from the southern hemisphere. And because of the so-called parallax, the distance between the two stations, um, and Venus being close to the Earth, uh, you can see its position on the Sun in slightly different positions. And uh, by actually measuring that, you could determine the distance to the Sun. The weather was a factor in those days as well. It was an extremely windy day, the, the day of the observations. They borrowed uh, some tampolins and, and poles and stuff from the railways and uh, uh, they rigged up and, and uh, Corporal Johnson was, was responsible for uh, trying to keep the sun off their chronometers, trying to keep the observers in a bit of shade, uh, uh, hectic conditions at some stage. The uh, visibility was only nine meters as, dust, as the wind uh, swept up these dust storms. The Venus Festival is not just about celebrating an astrological phenomenon. It's also about rejuvenating a community. Ons begeert is natuurlijk dat die revolutie een jaarlijkse instelling kan worden. Met is dit ook het doel om ook met ons vier, om als een cirkel om werkbaar boeit te komen, altijd ook voor op die voorkant van die van die kaart te brengen. Helen Alexander and cameraman Tula Minari in Toast Rapier for Morning Live.